EPA AWA meteorologist Bobby Marches here with your outlook for the weekend, holiday weekend, August 31st to September 2nd, 2024. That's correct. We're not going to have a video on Monday morning. Next video is going to be on September 3rd, which is Tuesday, because we're going to be celebrating the holiday weekend with family. This weekend's weather forecast is brought to you by Pitch a Tent Party and RV Rentals. The folks at Pitch a Tent recommend you avoid being like French pole vaulter Anthony Amirati, having a large pole ruin your event. Instead, rent a cross cable peak tent. Peak tents have no pesky center poles that get in the way. They give you a wide open obstruction free zone to complete your event successfully. If a big pole in your tent is still desired, Pitch a Tent asks to please find different ways to make your dad less proud and just run a dance floor instead. Pitch a Tent rentals, renting RVs, tents, tables, chairs, and more, supporting intimate weddings and weekend fun since 2018. Pitch a Tent is located in Fogelsville, Pennsylvania, and serves the greater Lehigh Valley and surrounding regions and are proud sponsors of the weekend video forecast. I'll tell you what, uh, this is one of those days that I had a, this is a new script from them, <laughs> and they're always excellent. And this is the third take this evening before I can finally get through it. Uh, but I, in all fairness, um, they I had a, I have a party, a very big party, scheduled at my house. It's the end of summer bash we do like every other year, and uh, they came through with me with uh, came through for me with a tent uh, on short notice. Okay, so these are guys are great, and I highly recommend them to uh, come to your event, whatever the event event may be to uh set up and uh and deliver they'll they'll set it up for you on premises and they'll come back the day after your party bring it down and uh that is that is it so uh very highly recommended from me because they uh did so on short notice this week i called them literally monday and said hey can you can help me out this weekend it might be some rain on saturday well as it turns out there won't be ready any rain on saturday for our area which i'm just north of allentown by about five miles and uh, it's northern part of the Lehigh Valley. It does look like the timing of this cold front that's coming through is going to be later today. So the most of the day during the daylight hours are going to be dry, it looks like. And the cold front, this is actually looking at 5 p.m. And the cold front is still all the way out here in western Pennsylvania. I do think there's the opportunity for some severe weather here in western Pennsylvania. Just right here and that's it. Not farther east because once this cold front moves eastward, it's coming in at a time that the uh, instability is just not going to be there. This is not mid-July where you have the opportunity for storms to continue deep in the night and still produce severe weather. This is not the case on August 31st. So uh, it does bring this through, but it's going to be during the overnight hours. And most of us are just going to see a few showers and that's it. Uh, Storm Prediction Center has this for an outlook, and I'm surprised they doubled down on this, but they did uh, today, and I don't see it. This is one of those times where I just completely disagree with the Storm Prediction Center's assessment. I don't disagree with this area out here, right in here. This is fine with a slight risk, but then it would take a marginal maybe to right here and nothing here, okay? That's what I would do, Okay. Uh, not trying to do the Trump Sharpie thing here, but I'm telling you that this is not going to work out for areas east of the Susquehanna River today. Just not going to happen. And I'm not sure what they're doing, um, but this is what they have for a slight risk today. I would just not bank on this. Well, I got a couple of cases in point here. Here's the high resolution and rapid refresh starting us off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, moving this forward. We do have stronger storms still going into places like Lock Haven, Williamsport, State College. And then as it moves further south and east, it just wanes and falls apart. And it's just garden variety showers and storms at that point. And this is later in the evening. The reason why this is happening is because we lose daytime heating. This timing is just not there uh, for this particular event to produce severe weather across the region, except for areas out here, which places like Lock Haven, Williamsport, uh, Sealands Grove State College, those areas will get it between 5 and 8 p.m., which is still can tap into the instability because it's not too far from removed from uh, peak heating today. But further east, to the sunset hits, the solar insulation goes away, 
and that is it okay so there's just kind of flat line as they moved east to the point where we're gonna have just showers over far eastern pennsylvania and that's it not even embedded thunder the nam high res future simulated radar takes us off from four o'clock in the afternoon today and moves it forward and it is really just collapses everything overnight just to a few showers and maybe some embedded thunder and that's it uh, might not even be that exciting all the way to Williamsport, Sealands Grove, Lock Haven State College. Okay, so uh, I'm not really seeing what they're seeing, and uh, I don't want to make this a, a bass session of the SBC. But this is the second time this week that they have uh, had an outlook out that was quite aggressive, and it's not going to work out. Just not going to work out today, and I'm very confident in that. I think that when we get into the overnight, we have a few showers moving through. Uh, there is the opportunity here for on, on Saturday, or excuse me, Sunday, with a secondary cold front moving through. They might see an isolated shower or storm. It's going to be in the uh, southeastern areas if that were to occur. This, this uh, frontal battery is going to be the lead of a trough that's going to get cooler temperatures in. So if you see above me, the temperatures today, 80 to 86, 82 to 86 on Sunday. Still warm and kind of near average this weekend. But once we get into next week, especially Labor Day Monday itself, uh, we're going to have much cooler temperatures. And that is going to be behind this secondary front. So here's Monday. Uh, big trough settling into the region that's going to give us cooler temperatures for through at least midweek with slightly below average temperatures. And that is going to be uh, temperatures in the low to mid 70s generally for that entire period between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, low humidity, so very delightful conditions outside for Labor Day itself. And then again, Tuesday and Wednesday. At the end of the week, we're going to have temperatures come up a little bit. Not, not a lot, but a little bit. Well, temperatures come up with high pressure sitting right over top of the region. And uh, once that moves off to the east a little bit here on Thursday and Friday, that's going to allow a return flow around it to get temperatures up a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Closer to average by the time we get to Friday. But we're looking at uh, mostly sunny skies Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday are partly cloudy days. This next frontal boundary, which is right here on the lead of another trough, which is up here, is going to come in late Friday or Friday night, and uh, that is going to lead to a reinforcing shot of cooler air behind this. Here's that frontal boundary come through, actually showing Friday night and Saturday, right? And then we might be dealing with another system here next week, at the beginning of the week, second week of September. If you want to look at the long-range outlook that I did yesterday, I mentioned the opportunity for some uh, synoptic rainfall uh, that is going to be uh, present in the beginning of the second week of September. We're going to continue to watch that. It's going to be uh, probably next weekend or the early part of the following week in the September 8th through 9th period. So we're going to watch that very closely next week in the next videos we do. But again, the next one we're not going to do is, is not until Tuesday of next week because we're going to be off on monday for the labor day holiday i'm apa Dubois meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for the labor day holiday weekend august 31st through september 2nd 2024 have a great saturday sunday and monday